you get out of a financial hole? Well, rule number one, stop digging. Next up, we'll be talking about pensions. Adrian Southworth is running to be the seventh district's next state senator, previously the deputy chief of staff for Lieutenant Governor Janine Hampton and leader of the watchdog organization Take Back Kentucky. Adrian's combination of experience and skill is known to unwind the labyrinth of state government for the benefit of many, not just the few. She is the proven problem solver we can trust to represent our views, listen to our needs, and despite the challenges we face, always find the best solutions. Hello everybody, I'm Adrienne Southworth running in the 7th District to be your next state senator. Today I have with us my good friend Steve. Thanks for coming Steve. Thank you for having me Adrienne. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to be back. Um, the pensions, it's huge. It's something that um, we have obviously big problems with in Kentucky. Explain what you mean about stop digging. Well here's the deal. So we need to find money. Everybody's on this big search. How in the world are we going to find new money to be able to fill in this hole? New business, yeah. Oh, they, everybody's got an idea. Either it's a new tax or a new plan or something like that. Well, let's talk about what's actually going on. What's going on is our bond rating has been downgraded a couple of times, multiple times over the past few years. And right. think of it as like a credit rating, right. okay? So if your credit rating drops 100 points, that's a problem. Right, because your interest but you rates could, go But you, you could still get by if you started out well, which we started out well. Yeah. Uh, then it goes another 100 down. Okay, there's only a couple of 100 that you have to work with before <laughs> you have a real problem. Hence the hole, okay. <laughs> so what we are doing is we're approaching that kind of really rough section. So right now, if we want to get a project moving, which we already have, you know, it's been in the hopper. We're going to go ahead with this project. It's costing us more money to do it. Right. So all our existing projects, I mean, imagine how much debt we carry. Right. All our existing projects now cost more to do. Right. So we're spending more on the same stuff that we thought we would be spending less on. Right. So here's the deal. You know, some of these projects, let's say we can't afford all that you know in a family situation you can't just go and buy all new cars right. if you don't have any money exactly right if you need a new car maybe you figure out a new work schedule where you can share the new car for a while till you can get that other car i mean you know you got to figure out ways to do this stuff so if we hold back some of these projects that we just can't afford right now that we're not taking out those loans so that we can pay off these more easily that frees up funds to where we can get our score up, right? Mm -hmm. That way in the future, these actually don't cost us as much. Now you've found that money that we've lost because not only are we out the money that we're paying out, we're out the money that we're not getting to use for other things. And so the money is just like sucking down a drain. Right, right. So it's a, it, we're throwing more money to do the same amount of projects Right. And it's increasing every year in the same amount of projects are getting done. Yeah, it makes sense. So the short answer would be we need to lower our interest rates and quit paying the bondholders so much of the money. And how do we do that? Through restraint. And that's, that, what that's you're... right. I mean, that's what we have to do. If you get lower interest rates, um, you know, when we pay off stuff, we can't just turn around and just go back because when we go back and put get more bonds, now those are more expensive. Right. right. And so, I mean, there's there's a lot of different areas that we can do this in, but when we're talking about bonds, we're talking about in like the hundreds of millions of dollars per project. Mm -hmm. Like there are a lot of things in that level of, of spending that you talk about finding money. You know, it, there are ways to do it. Okay, well that's, um, and that's what you want to do. That's the way that you separate Absolutely, I mean, with... and that's right. And other, every two years we have different projects that come up. Okay, this one's coming up. Well. That project, even though it's been approved, doesn't necessarily come out for bond issuance. I sat on that committee that did bond issuance. We, we do bond issuance based on when it's favorable to the market. I mean, there's, they have a pretty good staff over there of trying to track when's a good time to do these projects. Mm -hmm. When does it actually work for us financially? When is, but nobody, they are not tasked with making those decisions. That's the legislator's decision on should we even suggest doing this at this time? Right, right. They're tasked with, we've decided to do it, you make it happen. Right, okay. We need to pull it back here at the baseline and say, 
we should not be affording all of these projects right now. Let's figure out how we can get the ones paid off or paid down or whatever that we have, and then we can have freer funds with better scores push that up. So it makes that that's a much more logical, mathematically sound approach. It's the way you have to do it in the real life. That's exactly. Annual right. government shouldn't be anything besides real life. And that's true. And that's true. And and you know. I, there's always the analogy of somebody saying, you know, that's not the way I run my personal life. But in this sense, I mean, there's only one way to do math. Unfortunately, some <laughs> people do run their personal life like that, and I do not recommend it. Right, right. <laughs> Good. Good case in point. But, I mean, but it's really, there's only one way to do math. And if you do it the same way over and over again, it's going to lead you to the same result, which, is, again, is that illustration you gave about the hole getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. So great. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much. I mean, that's it's not only a good explanation, it's a good plan. Well, that's where we got to start. We start there and then we, we add the other to it. Look, there's not going to be too much fill going in this pension hole. We just have to do everything we can. Right. Share this video with your friends in Anderson, Franklin, Gallatin, Owen, and Woodford counties. And please vote for Adrian Southworth 